guys welcome back to my channel so as promised in this video i will be sharing with you the magical tips i did back then at usm when i was studying for my master's degree in mathematics of course and these tips actually worked i wish to share this with you guys especially those who are actually struggling with mathematics and i believe that everyone can do mathematics it's just you standing in your way it's just you telling yourself that you can't pull it off but i'm just gonna prove you otherwise and you will be graduating soon enough with a first class degree, believe me. Number one would be planning. So what I actually discovered after attending the orientation program at USM during the first week of my first semester was that I set myself a plan. In this plan, I determined the minimum GPA that I needed to pass for that particular semester. And I believe that would be 3.67 because that's the minimum GPA that the university or USM allow you to make it on the dean's list. Of course, it varies from one university to another. Some may have 3.5 the minimum or 3.7 just don't cut me people furthermore i figured the grade that i needed to achieve for a particular subject that i took during that semester and of course if you learn combinatories there are a number of ways you can do that combination permutation that kind of things you know you know what i'm saying right i've met several people who came to me saying that it could get pretty overwhelming and they actually abandon um, the plan they made for themselves what i really want to highlight here is that when setting up a plan for yourself make sure or goal for yourself make sure that it is a realistic one because if you set a non-realistic one it would be quite impossible to walk the talk towards your goal and of course if you set an unrealistic one it would happen but the probability of success for me it would be so slim i mean you would have to go all out that semester, lose yourself some sleep, study until 3 a.m. in the morning and people who see the videos who study until this hour to be a really committed kind of a person but actually now I realize that it's just poor time management people you need to get yourself enough sleep because if you don't, it won't do any good to you or even your GPA, it would just do detrimental things to your health because last time I came up with migraine, I've never experienced migraine in my entire existence and even vertigo, I couldn't even drive my car that day I would always keep telling myself I can't finish this revision I would, you know, look at some time the next day, the next few days so that I could catch up with the topic I needed to learn that week during that first semester, even though it was hard for me to study because of the tragic loss of my mother, I managed to pass the minimum GPA I set myself and I made it on the dance list without even trying. So I believe you can try that out and let me know if that works. Number two would be organizing your notes. During the beginning of every semester, I would go to Tesco, get myself the basic black uh, ring file. It would uh, put my notes given by my lecturer, the printed materials I obtained, the past your questions and other sort of exercises I needed to complete I got from the, probably the library or from media in internet searches and I would separate them accordingly and it would save me so much of my time especially when doing revision because last time when I didn't organize my notes it was all over the place I lost some of them, they wished some of them yeah it was quite stressful make sure you have a really organized file for each subject of course thirdly implementing the appropriate learning theories when studying for a particular topic of a subject would really help a lot because i studied mathematics last time i've known several learning theories from this class theories of teaching and learning mathematics i had at the school of educational studies and i tell you what i highly appreciate the knowledge imparted by the lecturers there why it's because when i attended that class i could figure out the reason why i couldn't succeed at mathematics when i was a secondary school student now when i for example when i deal with common lecturers kind of questions i would just implement these three of my favorite learning theories that would be instrumental and relational understanding by scam social constructivism or constructivism as well as visualization and representation i've never loved combinatorics as much as i did before i've seen my friends developing a fear of combinatorics they would freak out when they see words like combination permutations or even pigeons or principles whatever so i would always tell them to translate the word problem to a picture so that they could give themselves a proper representation of the whole situation and by doing so they could solve that problem in a hard way students if you're dealing with such combinatorics uh, kind of questions draw first then solve that would be a lot easier for you and last but not least you have to follow the people that you want to be for me i really wanted to be a really successful girl for me i followed um, some of my friends i found online whether they are studying mathematics biology medicine pharmacy anything really because for me i believe that 
you are what you follow. If you want to be a successful person, you will have to follow the people who are actually successful in their life or who's already on the right track, you know? When I connect with this kind of people I mentioned previously, besides exchanging uh, study tips, I would ask for ways to overcome a breakdown whenever I stumbled upon when studying. Of course, studying is not easy. And of course, I like to follow these meme accounts on Instagram. It's really funny. It helped me a lot, especially when I took statistical method for research. <laughs> I like this uh, meme from SpongeBob. I'm gonna insert here right here for you to say <laughs> cheap truth, right? I really love it. Um, yeah, if you haven't followed this kind of people, make sure you follow them on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Don't forget to follow me too. Right, with that being said, we have reached the end of the video. And I plan on sharing with you guys the tips on how to tackle your project or dissertation and how to get an A for that because obviously students are dying to get an A for their project or dissertation but I think I'm gonna post it in the next two Saturdays because next Saturday I will be attending my sister's graduation at USM oh I will be graduating this Wednesday and I'm going to share it with you guys my outfit oh I'm so excited <laughs> okay anyway don't forget to subscribe to my channel click the subscribe button down there and don't forget to follow me on my other social media like uh, Instagram it's gallery of mine so see you in my next video bye